Thanksgiving Day, an annual national holiday in the United States and Canada celebrating the harvest and other blessings of the past year. Americans generally believe that their Thanksgiving is modeled on a 1621 harvest feast shared by the English colonists of Plymouth and the Wampanoag people. The American holiday is particularly rich in legend and symbolism, and the traditional fare of the Thanksgiving meal typically includes turkey, bread stuffing, potatoes, cranberries, and pumpkin pie. With respect to vehicular travel, the holiday is often the busiest of the year, as family members gather with one another. Plymouth's Thanksgiving began with a few colonists going out fowling, possibly for turkeys but more probably for the easier prey of geese and ducks, since they in one day killed as much as served the company almost a week. Next, 90 or so Wampanoag made a surprise appearance at the settlement's gate, doubtlessly unnerving the 50 or so colonists. Nevertheless, over the next few days the two groups socialized without incident. Since Plymouth had few buildings and manufactured goods, most people ate outside while sitting on the ground or on barrels with plates on their laps. The men fired guns, ran races, and drank liquor, struggling to speak in broken English and Wampanoag. After 1798, the new U.S. Congress left Thanksgiving declarations to the states. Some objected to the national government's involvement in a religious observance, Southerners were slow to adopt a New England custom, and others took offense over the days being used to hold partisan speeches and parades. A national Thanksgiving Day seemed more like a lightning rod for controversy than a unifying force. Thanksgiving Day did not become an official holiday until Northerners dominated the federal government. While sectional tensions prevailed in the mid-19th century, the editor of the popular magazine Gaudy's Ladies Book, Sarah Josepha Hale, campaigned for a national Thanksgiving Day to promote unity. She finally won the support of President Abraham Lincoln. On October 3, 1863, during the Civil War, Lincoln proclaimed a National Day of Thanksgiving to be celebrated on Thursday, November 26. The holiday was annually proclaimed by every president thereafter, and the date chosen, with few exceptions, was the last Thursday in November. On December 26, 1941, President Franklin D. Roosevelt decided to change the date to the fourth Thursday in November instead of the last Thursday. The reasoning behind his decision? On most years, there are only four Thursdays in November in the first place, but on those years when there are five, Roosevelt felt that moving the celebration up a week would be beneficial to the economy. Whatever you say, Mr. President. Since 1924 the annual Macy's Parade in New York City has continued the tradition, with huge balloons since 1927. The holiday associated with pilgrims and Native Americans has come to symbolize intercultural peace, America's opportunity for newcomers, and the sanctity of home and family. As the country became more urban and family members began to live farther apart, Thanksgiving became a time to gather together. The holiday moved away from its religious roots to allow immigrants of every background to participate in a common tradition. These days, the vast majority of Americans celebrate Thanksgiving with a delicious feast among friends and family on that fourth Thursday of November. As for benefiting the economy well, 
If stocking up on mashed potato ingredients, cranberry sauce, and apple pie supplies doesn't do the trick, we certainly pull our weight on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And, finally, you may hear people say that turkey makes them tired. No, it doesn't. Turkey contains tryptophan, an essential amino acid that is thought to have a sedative effect. As it turns out, turkey doesn't have any more tryptophan than other foods, including chicken, and even if tryptophan did induce tiredness, there isn't enough in turkey to do so. So if you are tired after eating Thanksgiving dinner, don't blame the turkey.